Today, I'm going to show you around my studio and I'm going to tell you about how I made my latest picture book, Castle Gesundheit. So what is an artist's studio? Well, this is really my office. And since I work on the computer most of the time now, I don't have to have easels or paints anymore. I do a lot of pencil drawing at my desk and I still use pen and ink sometimes. But my studio is really a place where I can relax, surrounded by a lot of the, my favorite books and comics. Before the book can look like this, it looks like this. I did over 300 pencil drawings to get ready to create Castle Gesundheit, designing the characters and figuring out what the story is going to look like. So I do all of my painting and my final drawing on the computer using Adobe Photoshop. Here's a two-page spread from Castle Gesundheit. And um, over here I have 75 different layers that make up this page. And I can turn them off. There's the layer for the balloons for the type. And there's layers for the cats and various colors. I can turn on or off. So I've drawn this through lots of different layers, drawn line artwork and colored it and painted it and redrawn it. And I can change my mind, which I do a lot when I'm working. And it lets me, uh, I can take off all the background color. I could even change that background color if I wanted. So if I didn't want that purple, maybe I want it all to be green yellow. Let's see if uh, what that looks like. So you can change it any way you want and of course undo it. So the computer makes it easier uh, to change your mind and um, be inspired by the moment to try new things out, which I really like. It's one of my favorite parts of, of working on a book like this. So if I wanted to add something new, I could create a new layer, use black ink. I use my Wacom tablet here to draw and I could simply um, draw a great big cat that is uh, flying through the air. That's his paw here. And then if I was going to paint him, I could choose a color from anywhere and start painting him in. And now he's in front, of course, because I drew him in front of the background. And if I don't like that, I can simply delete those layers. And, uh, oh, I deleted the wrong layers. That's scary, isn't it? I don't want to do that. And he's gone. So using my Wacom tablet and Photoshop, I can paint and draw and change and revise my artwork pretty quickly. So what inspired me to write Castle Gesundheit? Well, it's, uh, there's a lot of sneezing in the book, and the truth is I have horrible allergies. I grew up on a farm with cows and horses and goats and sheep and dogs and cats. And I did a lot of sneezing, and I still do. We have two dogs, we have two cats, and Mabel uh, spends a lot of her time, she kind of lives in my studio. So every morning and every evening I end up uh, with a cat sleeping on my lap, uh, and I still get my amount of, plenty of sneezing in. My studio tends to be a pretty big mess. Uh, Castle Gesundheit, like I said, I did hundreds and hundreds of pages of pencils. Those are all thrown out. But I am working on a new book. It's a graphic novel, and that is all of this stuff right here. Ugh. And as the book is getting closer to being finished, most of this will be tossed out at some point. But I spend a lot of time drawing here each of the stories and working them out. And uh, so my office is always in the middle of a project and it's always pretty messy. These are a lot of the rough drawings from Castle Gesundheit where we're editing, changing things, altering the spot art, deciding how it's laid out. 
And uh, we did this five or six times. Some of the early pencil drawings from it where the characters are still changing. And uh, even some of the banners that ended up in the book, being used in the book. Well, thank you for spending a few minutes with me today in my studio and finding out how I create a book like Castle Gesundheit.